why are manufacturers like MSI creating so many different variations of the same graphics card or the same GPU, basically? So as an example here, 3080 Ti variants, there's just so many of them. Uh, it just is overwhelming. So why not create just one or two uh, successful variants? Which I guess sort of the smaller partners like Power Color, they tend to do that. Like you get the hell well they do like three now you get the fight of the hellhound and the red devil and then sometimes you get like a liquid cooled devil or whatever so even the uh, smaller guys do have more than two variants for the most part but why are there so many different variants is the question and really probably a few different reasons you can bet that companies like msi have been doing this for a while so they've sort of optimized their product lines and then then they're not overwhelming people to the point where they just don't buy anything uh, they're trying to cover various different price points. Uh, they're trying to justify higher margin products, I suppose. And it may even be a situation where they're offering sort of different looking products as well. Like someone wants a black looking graphics card or, you know, you can see that they're all, some of them are subtly different. Some are quite different in their appearance and, and the features they offer. So product segmentation, it's nothing new. And when you're a big company and you can afford to do it, they do it because it generally results in more sales and it allows them to, I guess, another way of looking at it, your old brick and mortar stores, you have two products, two different types of Radeon GPUs and your competitor has six. So they're dominating three times the shelf space. They're more likely to have that convert to a sale and the online store approach is the same thing. You go to like your PC case gear or whoever, and you got MSI, G, MSI, 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 and then like two power colors or whatever. MSI is more likely to get the sale. Uh, it just looks like a stronger brand, I suppose. Yeah, I think part of it as well that you haven't touched on is these these GPUs, there's kind of a price gap between one GPU and the next. So you sort of got your 3060 Ti at, say, $400, your 3070 at $500. So then the AOBs think, okay, well, we can sell in $20 increments between $400 and $500, or even you know, have your top-end 3060 Ti's be priced above the lowest tier 3070s, and that just gives people the maximum amount of choice that they could possibly have. So, uh, oh, I've got $440 exactly to spend on a GPU. Well, that means I can get the 3060 Ti at the second from bottom variant, or whatever the case is for that, that line. So I think that just got, kind of flood the market, in addition to all the things that you were saying, and so, sort of, yeah, just there's always that product available for the person that's ready to go right there for the amount of money that they want to spend. So you end up with the full stack of $20 increments from right down the bottom end of the GPU line, up and up and up and up. Yeah. And um, to make it, well, not overwhelming, during normal times, you would just buy the card at or very near the MSRP and ignore the premium cards unless you're shopping for a flagship GPU. But Something like an RTX 3060 Ti, you would be going very near to that MSRP to get the most bang for your buck. And you just have to do a bit of research who offers the best quality uh, MSRP card, and there you go. Yeah, and they like to differentiate with things like factory OC versus non-OC mm -hmm. cards, which tends to get people to sale. And just, as you say, basic stuff like two fans versus three fans. People might want the mm -hmm. three fan ver variant. Yeah, it's, it all gets down to simple stuff like that.